So when it comes to buying tools and equipment, there's some tools that I will only buy top of the line tools. For example, my 193T steel chainsaw, top handle chainsaw, absolutely love this thing. Wonderful purchase, so happy I got that thing. But on the other hand, there's some tools that I have no problem cheaping out on, such as my knockoff Dremel. This is a Tac Life Dremel. That thing has worked out quite well, about half the cost of a regular Dremel. And also, this Sunjo corded electric head trimmer, which I got on Amazon a couple years ago. I, I'd expect this thing to have died by now, but it's still chugging along and it's chugging along quite well. Only thing is, over time, these blades have gotten quite dull. So in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how I sharpen the blades on my hedge trimmer. All right, so let's talk about what tools you're gonna to need to accomplish this task of sharpening your hedge trimmer. So the main specialized tool that you're gonna need is some type of Dremel tool. You could buy the Dremel brand Dremel tool or you could buy a knockoff like I have here, the little Tac Life, and this thing has uh, served me just fine. Also, if you do plan to buy one of these, I recommend that you get one that has a variable speed motor. That's really handy to have. And also, by the way, you can sharpen this with a file. It's just quite a bit easier if you have a Dremel tool. And once you have a Dremel, you'll find yourself using it all the time. But when you buy a Dremel, they generally come with like a little kit like this, and this is different heads and adapters. Uh, well, really just different heads. See, so you have like a, a little sanding disc right there, a little cutoff disc. You also have these stones, these little grinding stones. So the stone I'm gonna be using today is just an even round cylinder. It's not beveled, it doesn't come to a point. It's not a rounded tip. This is just a round, even cylinder. That's what I'm gonna be using today to sharpen up these hedge trimmer blades. All right, so let's talk about my hedge trimmer blades. So. For my hedge trimmer, there's a short blade, and then there's a long blade. The long blade is not beveled on any kind of angle. It's just straight up and down ground, or it's ground perpendicular to this bar, so just straight up and down. Now, the shorter teeth are the ones that actually do the cutting. These are ground at approximately a 45 degree bevel on either side of these teeth. I flip this, flip this hedge trimmer around. You can see on the back side of the hedge trimmer, the shorter teeth are on the bottom. So these are opposite one another. Now, a question you may have is, do I need to remove these bars off the hedge trimmer? And the answer is no. You can leave these bars right on the hedge trimmer. You don't have to do anything special other than make sure that when you go to sharpen this side, just make sure that you know, it's offset from your longer tooth. So what I'm gonna do in a minute here is I'm gonna set this up and then basically I'm gonna take my Dremel, I'm gonna come in here on approximately a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna try and match that bevel and we're gonna sharpen up that edge. Another thing that I wanna mention is if you have a battery operated tool, just make sure you remove the battery. If it's a quarter tool, make sure you unplug it. You don't wanna take any chances of the trigger getting pulled while you have your little fingers in there and you're working on sharpening up these, this blade. So just try and be safe and sensible as possible. So now I'm gonna put on my safety glasses. See, at this point you wanna put on some safety glasses, gloves, hearing protection. I have my Dremel tool out. First thing I like to do is just get comfortable, get set up. Do a dry pass, kind of like welding. See, I have my middle finger stabilizing the front of the tool and my back hand is just guiding the tool. So what I'm gonna do now, turn on the tool and I'm just gonna try and match the bevel.
All right, so now that we have one side of these cutter teeth sharpened, what we need to do is we need to either plug the tool in or install the battery, depending on what type of tool you have. And we're gonna have to cycle the trigger and we're gonna need to try and get this cutter tooth to the other side of this long, non-beveled tooth. So I'm just gonna tap the trigger here and hopefully we end up on the right spot. I can get the Dremel in here, put a nice grind on those teeth, unplug the power, we'll get back to work. Okay, so I've only sharpened these first four cutter teeth. I have not sharpened any of these other teeth. What I wanna do now, just for the sake of time, is I have a stick. It's uh, about a half inch thick, which this is definitely a lot thicker than what they recommend you take something like this through. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the tool on and I'm gonna go through a couple sections of the bar. Like all these teeth, aside from these four, have not been sharpened, only these first four. So what I want you to do, I want you to look and listen. I want you to look at how well the bar, the dull sections of the bar cut through this piece, this half inch piece. And I also want you to listen to the motor. Listen to how much strain, listen to how much more strain there is on the motor when we go through a dull section of this cutter bar. And you'll see how important it is to have your hedge trimmer sharp. So let's fire this puppy up and see what she does. Final note though, after you sharpen your teeth and throughout the season, I recommend that you take some type of lubricant. You can use WD-40 penetrating oil. I'm sure they make a special like hedge trimmer type lubricant. That is probably just something very generic. But anyway, I recommend you take this thing outside, plug it in, put the battery back in and just spray down the entire bar. And that does two things. For one, these blades oscillate and there's a lot of friction in between those two blades. So once you get some lubrication in between those blades, things are gonna run smoother and you're not gonna wear out uh, your bars as quickly. So it's gonna help to reduce friction and just improve efficiency. The th second thing it's doing is it's going to reduce the chances of corrosion, right? Metal is actually very porous. So by taking WD-40, you're helping to fill in those pores with oil which repels moisture and therefore hopefully reducing the possibility of corrosion you know especially if you take this thing outside and use it in a wet environment you know when the leaves are wet or in a little bit of light rain try and take some wd-40 afterwards and just spray down the bar so that's it for today's video i hope you found this video helpful uh, if you have any questions feel free to leave a question in the comment section down below and that's it for today's video thanks for watching Hello.